Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm Gene Coder. If you guys are new here, I pretty much help people master data structures and algorithms, right? And help them land their dream job. So today we have a pretty interesting uh, topic, right? So this is the Java has set. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and read the prompt statement. So it's on high current, all right? So let's read the prompt statement, right? So it says in computer science, right? Is set is an abstract data type, right? That can store certain values without any particular order. Yeah. It's unordered, right? So it says and no repeated values guys so that yeah so that's what it has it is for right to help us and you know it keeps track of you know of like you know of unique values for us right we don't have to worry about need to duplicate when we insert stuff into the has set which makes it very very good guys well i love using has set right it says uh one two three right is an example of a set guy because there's, there, are, there are no repeated values right it's a perfect example right so one two two is not an example of a set because guys we have duplicates right there so it, it must not be a set you know i'm saying it says today you will learn how to use a set right in java by solving this problem guys so this is a very very good introductory to kind of get yourself familiar with a set guys so it's very very good right so it says you are given n pairs of strings right two pairs a b and c d right it said two pairs are identical right if a is equal to c and b is equal to d right yeah, that makes sense because if if a if c's go to a right and b's go to d right then we know that no they are the same right um yeah so he says um this also implies a and b is not the same as b a right which makes sense uh after taking each pair as input right you need to print the number of unique uh pairs you currently have right so he says complete the code in the editor right so we have an editor right there right which we're gonna have to you know solve right it says uh, input format, right? So you said in the first line, there will be integer t, right? Denoting number of pairs, right? Each of the next t lines will contain, right? So we contain two strings separated by single space, right? So it says uh, constraint t will, will be between one and well, that number, right? One, two, three, right? So 100,000, right? So length of each string is at most five, right? Okay, cool. So it says output format print, T lines, right? In the eighth line, print the number of unique pairs you have after taking the eighth pair as input, right? So pretty, pretty, pretty good problem, guys. So pretty much, guys, let me go through an example. So we're going to be giving this number, right? Right? So we're going to be given this number. The first line of integer T, right? So we'll get this number, right? Uh, they were, they've already done that for us, so we don't need to worry about that, right? So they pretty much uh, read the input for us. So we're pretty good on that, All right? So, and on uh, John, so we're gonna be giving um, pretty much a series of um, <clears throat> uh, peers, right? So there's gonna be uh, John, Tom, right? Those are go two are gonna be together, right? So they've already they've done that for us. They'll, they stored them and uh, pretty much, you know, in uh, two arrays, right? Two string arrays, right? So, so for this example, John will be on the left part, right? And then for the next one, Tom will be on the right part, right? So that's how you form the pair, right? And then they do that for each one of them, right? So they all had the same index. So that's how we're going to be able to uh, retrieve those um, two uh, people, right? The name of the two people. So so jo so John is going to be the left. Tom is going to be on the right, right? And John is going to be on the left. Mary is going to be on the right, you know what I'm saying? So that's how they read it in for us, right? This is the structure of the input, right? So yeah, I'm just telling you guys so you know how to process them, right? So that's why I'm doing that. Okay. So um we got um so yeah, so let's go example so five, right? There's just five names that we're gonna read, five you no know, pairs, right? So we read so we what we're gonna do guys, you know, we're gonna they told us to pretty much print the number of unique pairs, right? So the data structure that's gonna help us in storing unique pairs, right? Unique values, right? It's always gonna be a set, guys. So a set, you know what I'm saying. It's very very good uh, when it comes to that right so a set is very good for that so we do john we do tom right i'm saying so we we would add that to the uh set right and then we now after you add them right you need to print the size of there so right now the size of the set that we're going to have right is going to be one right and then we add john mary to the set right and then the size right now is two because we have two unique pairs guys right two unique pairs right you know i'm saying and then we add john and tom again right so you probably might be tempted to say three but no we've already we already have john and tom 
in the set already. So adding it again is not gonna pretty much add it. And on top of it, no, we set keep tracks of unique values, guys. So it's always gonna be, so it's, it's two, still two, because it's the same as this one, right? So the same thing, right? So uh, this one, right, is on three, right? Because we add Mary and Anna, right? Because Mary Anna, there's we don't have Mary Anna yet, right? We haven't seen a Mary Anna before that, right? So it's three, right? So it's, we add Mary Anna Anna again, right? And it's still three, guys, because you know it keeps track of unique values. So you do unique, unique values are John and Tom, John and Mary, right? And Mary Anna, guys. So yeah, guys, he's very, very, very good, guys. You know what I'm saying? So we much how we're gonna do it, guys. We got I told you guys we're gonna be using a set. The set and there's gonna be made of strings, guys, because we're gonna pretty much add those two pairs inside of it. And just like that, guys, we're we're good. You know what I'm saying. So let's uh let's do that real quick. Huh? Okay. So uh we're gonna be using a set, guys. All right. So they've already processed everything for us. So we're gonna be so we're gonna be, uh yeah get the set real quick. As set. So this is how you instantiate the set in Java. All right. So it's gonna be the set made of strings guys right that's how we're going to add the pairs pretty much you know what i'm saying so we do has set all right and then we loop through the all the numbers right all the different pairs guys because no t uh the number of pairs pretty much you know is storing in the verbal t right so that's how i got t that we're gonna you know what i'm saying so now the next thing that we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna just set that add, guys. We use the add function, right? Method to add stuff to um, the set, guys. So the way we're gonna do it, guys, it's gonna be pretty intuitive. You know what I'm saying? So we do int left, right? It's gonna be I, right? So we get the first, so for the first example, it will be John, right? John. And then now uh, we are gonna separate it by a space, guys, right? And we're gonna do pair right right because the data is right there right so the pair pair right right i'm saying this is where i'm getting it from making it very clear for you guys right so pretty much what i'm doing right now i'm adding john right so john pair left right which is this one and then the space right the space the little space that we have here right i'm saying and then we add um a pair right right which is the tom right and then it does that for every pair guys right so yeah, and then all the pairs are stored in the, those two arrays, guys. So make sure that you guys understand that, right? So after we do that, guys, the next thing that we have to do, they told us to print the side, the number of unique pairs, guys. So we get the, we know how many numbers of unique pairs we have, guys, by getting um, the size, right? So we do set that size, guys, to get the size of the set, right? Which tells us how many unique values we have, guys. So yeah guys very very important guys right so uh seems like we passed these small test cases guys so let's check press submit code see if we pass all the test cases all right looks good guys we passed all the test cases guys so i want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video if you guys found value give me a like guys if you guys are new here subscribe to the channel because i'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one so i want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next